Kiki Smith is an American artist. Kiki focused most of her work on life, death, and resurrection. Using a feminist style of art, her genre is figurative. Kiki used a lithograph of 12 colors as her medium. The dimensions of this photo are 68 1 16th by 58 1 8th. Born is one of Kiki's largest prints, made in 2002. You can find this artwork in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Kiki Smith uses the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood as an inspiration to this painting. Instead of the wolf just eating the grandmother and the granddaughter, she shows the blood dripping from the wolf's mouth. This implicates the wolf has ate the grandmother and the granddaughter. Kiki adds a twist by drawing them coming out of the wolf's stomach, bringing out an image that they are being born again, giving them a sense of strength, self-knowledge, and self-acceptance. Her inspiration of this is the life of St. Genevieve, which is a patron saint of Paris who domesticates wolves. Whom to Smith embodies the complex symbolic relationships between humans and animals and how similar we are, exploring women as wolves. Smith turned the figurative tradition and sculpture around. Her art focused on objects and drawings based on organs, cellular forms, and the human nervous system. Her work evolved incorporating animals, domestic objects, and narrative tropes from classical mythology and folktale, bringing on life, death, and resurrection as her crossroads in many of her installations and sculptures, including pieces which are Lying with the Wolves, Rapture, and Eye Wearing the Skin. Kiki Smith uses the first color pigments of art, which are a combination of soil, animal fat, burnt charcoal and chalk, creating a basic palette of five colors, which are red, yellow, brown, black, and white. She also uses a cool color palette, which includes the green in the girl's skirt. Lines are forming the grandmother and the granddaughter's hair. The girl and her grandmother are vertical figures rising from the wolf that is laying horizontal. The wolf appears to be in agonizing pain as the two stand there, while the granddaughter embraces the grandmother's face with one hand and holding her arm with the other. As they stare in each other's eyes, Smith struggled with other elements to connect the two characters, giving them the same eye color to help present them as allies. Taking the narrative and changing its context. This was a form of resurrection giving the folktale new meaning. Smith's works depicted the human condition in relationship to nature. Kiki Smith got most of her themes based off the death of her father and her sister, Beatrice. Smith's sister died of AIDS, in which in the 90s fostered a movement and assembled political grievance. This is when Smith began an ambitious study on mortality and the physicality of the human body creating works that explore a wide range of human organs. Her work related to her exploring bodily fluids, which has social significance as response to the AIDS crisis. Giving Smith a format to discussing political issues such as race, gender, and sexuality. Smith had a Catholic upbringing in which takes her focus to mythology and folklore. Smith shows the value of their faces as pale, expressing emotion in the colors of warmth, embracing of the grandmother and the granddaughter. The red showing pain, but also enjoyment of the wolf showing the blood dripping from his mouth. Violence was reinforced. It shows the two arising from the wolf's stomach. There's also another meaning for this stating that the wolf ate them and that a man cut them out of his stomach, showing off the wolf's bare teeth and bloody mouth. There are the positive space in this photo while the white is the negative. The wolf in Smith's art is detailed as her human figure. 
symbolizing the wolf as a she-wolf, known to act off its instincts according to their intuition. Kiki focused most of her work on life, death, and resurrection. Most of her work was based off the death of her father and her sister. Kiki used their death as a tool in art, trying to understand death and that she was not dying as well and that it was okay to live. Born features a theme that has prevailed in Kiki Smith's work for years. The relationship between animals, particularly wolves and humans. This image subverts the storyline of one of the world's best known fairy tales. By imagining Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother as born of the wolf rather than just eaten by him. This is where Smith's focus, works of life, death, and resurrection comes in. She uses a drawing of herself that someone made of her when she was little as self-portraits for the child and the grandmother. My artwork is a collage of some of Kiki Smith's artwork. The artwork I use in this collage are of Kiki's prints, installations, and sculptures. I show a rebirth by resurrection and how something can be seen one way but mean another. Showing her power and strength, Kiki Smith was reborn through her artwork. Allowing the viewer and audience to dig deep. To know themselves too can be reborn. I chose to do a collage of Kiki's artwork showing a rebirth because Kiki went through a time in her life where her brother, where her father and sister had died and she felt as if she was dead as well. Kiki found herself believing in her, her art finally and going further in it. I am also religious as her and I know the feeling of believing in a higher power and being watched from my past to go on to my present. 